coming up next and a few days later than scheduled, it's this week in Robot Combat, the last news episode for the year. We get fired up in Norwalk one last time. There's events coming up next year, and Labman open their doors once more. It's this week in Robot Combat. Two, one, Welcome to the show. We kick things off with Norwalk Havoc Robot League's finals that took place over the weekend. The event was massive, with all of the competitors that had qualified from the year being invited back to Norwalk to compete one more time for the 2021 tournaments. There were fights across three weight divisions, the three pound beetles, the 12 pounders and the 30 pounders. Every robot that was taking place deserved a spot. The competition was incredibly stiff and very exciting indeed. Lots of very, very good fights throughout the day. You're seeing on screen some of the photos taken by JCRB Photo. Thank you very much for supporting the news this year, John. It is much appreciated. So on to the results. In the finals of the three pound Beatles, it was a fight between Jameson Go with Silent Spring and Calvin Eber with Lynx. A very hotly fought battle. They'd fought previously on, but Lynx came out on top. Both times, Silent Spring having to make their way back through the loser's bracket, only to lose their disc for a second time. Massive congratulations to Calvin Eber and Lynx, a fantastic robot that has been taking names since it came on the scene. In the 12 pounders, it was a fight between Hot Leaf Juice and Huge, a 12 pound version of Robot Huge. Here, unfortunately, Huge lost its weapon belt and Hot Leaf Juice seemed unstoppable, and they were. They won the tournament in the 12 pounders and won the year as well. Well done to them. Finally, in the 30 pounders, it all came down to rematch central, Emulsifier and Megatron last fought at Motorama 2020, where Megatron took the championship. In this finals, however, it started off on the complete opposite foot, Emulsifier defeating Megatron first off, and Megatron going down to the loser's bracket. However, having come back through, Megatron went on to defeat Emulsifier not once, but twice, to become the 30 pound Norg Havoc champions of 2021. Congratulations to Jameson Go and the team. Norwalk Havoc Robot League will be back in 2022. There are more details over on their website. Be sure to go and check that out for all the information you need. Midwest Robot Combat is strangely enough bringing Robot Combat to the Midwest next year. A statement on their website reads, Want to fight some robots? The Midwest Robot Combat Association is a one-pound class robot combat league and championship. Competitors will battle it out at qualifying events all around the Midwest for a spot in the annual championships. Blurb goes on from there, but you can check more of that out over via the link on the World of Woodrow Facebook page. Events will include WRC held in Wisconsin January 15th. We also have the Michigan mashup on April 9th. The next event after that will be held in Minnesota on May the 23rd. Then June 18th will be the event in Illinois and all that before the last chance to qualify in July that will be held in Iowa. All of this, of course, leading up to the aforementioned September finals. Throwing over now to the UK and Labman have just held an event up north, or at least north of me. Fight Fest Winter Challenge saw combat with the featherweights and brand new hobbyweights as well. Not much is known yet about the result of this event as it was recorded and will be coming out on YouTube early next year. However, at the weekend we did see some awesome photos showing off a particularly interesting new featherweight build. This being Mini Tour or Miniature Deer Tour, built by Adam Hamilton and expertly driven by the main man himself, Mr. Deator, Peter Redmond. It's their hope that more classic roboteers will return to the sport in this sort of fashion with miniature versions of their own machines, which are more manageable to run. The competitions are the first UK Hobbyweight Championship, which is 12 pounds or 5.44 kilo robots, 
a huge annihilator competition featuring stars from Robot Wars, BattleBots and King of Bots, a gladiator, vengeance battles and a competition called Battle of the Isles with teams representing Scotland, Ireland and England in a Civil War style event. But the Winter Challenge Fight Fest was sponsored by Team Immersion with prizes by Wranglebox. And keeping with Fight Fest, they've announced the next competition will be in July 2022. This the championships that you need to go and sign up to if you want to take part right now. More information over on the Fight Fest Facebook page, of which there is a link to on the World of Woodrow Facebook page. A few weeks ago, I announced that Big Bot Bits had started a Kickstarter for people that wanted to get hold of the BattleBots poker chips of the 2021 season. That is now fully funded, which is excellent news. And there is a stretch goal bin added for a lovely shiny new t-shirt showing off all of the robots in the 2021 season. 25k by the 14th of January, that t-shirt will be made. And finally, BattleBots in the last few hours have announced that BattleBot supporters will get to see the first 1 minute 45 of season 6 on Christmas morning. If you're not already a supporter, there's a good reason to become one. And that's just about all for this time and for this year. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, do subscribe to the channel and do be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Facebook page to keep up to date with all of the latest news. There's one more video to come taking a look back at all of the news from 2021. Until then, I've been Jevon Woodrow. Merry Christmas, everyone.